Dude, Sasha is so into you. Why do you keep ignoring her? And Haley was totally checking you out earlier. Oh, come on, guys. You know that Jaden only loves one girl. Melanie. Melanie! My friends were total idiots sometimes, but they weren't wrong. Countless girls were into me, but I only had eyes for Melanie. There was just something different about her, something dark and mysterious. She never really tried to fit in with other girls at all. Most of the girls at my school behaved like copies of each other. They wore the same clothes and had the same hairstyles and even spoke the same way. But Melanie, she didn't care. She was herself. And while almost every girl was head over heels for me, Melanie ignored me. Why don't you just try talking to her? I've tried, but she ignores me all the time or just gives me one word answers. Well, try harder. Well, thanks to my social studies teacher, I wouldn't have to try very hard. She walked in one day with a big announcement. So guys, your final project involves pair work, and I've decided to pair you all up with people you don't usually talk to. People who aren't your friends. So you'll take this more seriously. This project would send me straight into Melanie's arms, but you have to keep watching to see how our story unfolded. So here are your partners. Go sit next to them and make it snappy, because we have to begin. Braxton and Trinity, Tori and Trevor, Jaden and Melanie, I froze. I didn't hear anything she said after that because I was just frozen. Then, my buddy Jackson hit me on the arm and I snapped out of it. Go sit next to her, quick! He winked. I got up and sat next to Melanie. She didn't even look at me. Our teacher explained what the project was about and I realized that Melanie and I would have to meet up sometime to complete it. Could I turn it into a date? I was so excited. After the class, she finally turned towards me and said, so, I guess we have no choice but to do this. And since I actually care about my grades, do you want to meet up on Saturday to finish this? Uh, sure. Where do you want to meet up? You can come to my house. What's your number? I'll send you the address. I gave her my number, then she left. It was only Monday and Saturday felt like it was an eternity away. The night before, I couldn't sleep and on the day, I nearly jumped out of my shoes when I saw a text message from her. It read, here's my address, see you at lunchtime, and she typed the address below. She surprisingly lived quite close to me. I just had to take a bus for five minutes and the rest was walkable. When I got there though, I was shocked out of my mind. I didn't know that Melanie's family was filthy rich. At first, I even thought I was at the wrong house because it was so huge, but I saw her looking through one of the windows. Most rich kids at my school boasted about it, but Melanie didn't and that made me like her even more. Now, you know how they say that most rich people are snobs and can be mean and unapproachable? Melanie's family was the total opposite. The door shot open and her two older brothers came running out. Hey, Jaden, Melanie's waiting upstairs, but you can come to the video game room when you're done with your little project. We need an extra player. I'm Chase. And I'm Sawyer. You guys have a room just for video games? Yeah, doesn't everyone? Anyway, nice to meet you, Jaden. There's Melanie. Have fun and see you later. Uh, thanks. Melanie came downstairs to get me because I'd have probably gotten lost if I tried to find her room on my own. Sorry about my brothers. They're weird. I don't think they're weird. They're just super friendly. Yeah, and that's weird. We worked for a while and then I went to play games with Chase and Sawyer. I was having so much fun that I lost track of time. It was so late that Sawyer had to drive me home. He had such a cool car. Even after our project was done, Chase and Sawyer kept inviting me over. And before I knew it, the whole family knew and loved me. Well, except Melanie, who seemed to love ignoring me. Then one evening, I was having dinner with them and his mom asked me something totally unexpected. Hey, Jaden, this summer we're traveling to our island and we'll spend a few weeks there. We think you'd love it. Would you like to come? We'll pay for everything. Wow, you guys have an island? Well, of course, honey, we're rich. That sounds awesome. Of course I'd love to join. We're gonna have so much fun. Everyone seemed excited that I was coming along. Well, except Melanie. She showed no emotions. Anyway, let's skip through the boring parts about asking my parents for permission and packing. In a few weeks, I joined my new favorite family on their private jet and off we went. When we got there, they took me to the main beach house because there were plenty, but I'll get to that in a while. Then Chase and Sawyer showed me around. So we each have our own beach, and each beach has a beach house. Sawyer's is full of surf gear, but I prefer snorkeling and scuba diving. We can do a bit of both. Cool. I hung out with the guys the first two days. On the third day, the real drama began. 
I was snorkeling with Chase for about half an hour. We had swum a bit far from the shore because he had told me the further we went, the more interesting things we'd see. After a while, I turned around looking for Chase, but he wasn't around. I instantly panicked. Did something happen to him? I swam quickly to the next beach, which just happened to be Melanie's. She was sitting on the sand near the shore, looking worried. Hey Melanie, I lost track of Chase. Should we call your parents or something? He was right behind me, and then he was gone. By the way, what are you looking so worried about? Chase does that sometimes, but he's really a great swimmer. He's probably on another beach discovering something. Don't worry about it. Okay, but why are you sitting here looking scared? Well, I came here for some peace and quiet, but when I tried to leave, I saw a snake. I tried a different path out, but I saw more snakes. I don't know how to get out. My cell phone has no signal, and I don't know how to reach my parents. The power in my beach house is out too. Snakes? Okay, get up. I'm sure we can find a way out. She got up and followed me. I felt like her strong knight in shining armor until I reached the bushes and nearly tripped and fell because there, right in front of me, was the most massive snake I had ever seen. Oh my gosh. I told you. Well, let's just try to get out over here. I ran to the opposite end of the beach and asked her to follow me. We were able to walk for about two minutes in the bushes, which would take us back to everyone, but... Be careful, Jaden. Look. I couldn't believe it. It was like a ridiculous nightmare. I'd heard of snakes on a plane, but snakes on some rich people's island? We ran all the way back to the beach house like tiny mice being chased by a huge cat. Well, why don't we just swim to Chase's beach? Then we can go stay with your parents in the main beach house. You're gonna laugh if I tell you this, but I can't swim. She looked like she was going to cry, but I laughed anyway. <laughs> you own a whole beach and you can't swim? I'm afraid. Uh-huh, that's okay. We'll find another way. Don't worry. We can just stay here tonight. I'm sure the beach house has food and stuff we can use to make light when it gets dark. Okay. We went inside and I went to look through her kitchen. The pantry was loaded. I made us some snacks and we went to sit on the balcony outside. Wow, this is good. I didn't know you could cook. Yeah, it's one of my many hidden talents. We ate and spoke for hours. When I saw that it was about to get dark, I went inside to search every cupboard for candles or lamps. Luckily, just when I was about to give up, I found three kerosene lamps. I lit them and we went inside the living room. Can you make sure all the doors are locked and all the windows are sealed? I don't want any strange creatures coming in here tonight. Sure. For once, I felt noticed and appreciated by Melanie. She was too afraid to sleep for the rest of the night, so we just stayed up and got to know each other. It was sort of like my dream date, you know, minus the snakes. The morning came and she fell asleep. I made some breakfast with whatever I could find and waited until she woke up. We ate and spent the rest of the day together. Then, just as I was starting to wonder why no one had bothered to look for us yet, she said, Jaden, I have something to tell you. What? I've had a crush on you for the longest time now. What? I was in shock. I was the one who asked my parents to invite you here. They know. My brothers know, too. I've had a crush on you for, like, ever. All my friends know. I ignore every single girl because I only have eyes for you. Then we kissed, and it was like a dream come true. Come, let's get out of here. She held my hand and led me out of the house. But what about the snakes? They're not real. This is all a setup so we could be trapped here for a while. I didn't know how else to tell you I liked you. I'm pretty sure this all seemed totally insane to you, but it actually made me like Melanie a little more. We walked until we got to the main house. Melanie's whole family was waiting for us with silly grins on their faces. So, are you two a couple yet? Yes, Mom. Great! Let's go to Paris to celebrate. Wait, what? So since then, I've been dating this girl who has these cool parents who fly me to all these different cool parts of the world, and I'm having a blast. I mean, I'd have a blast even without that stuff simply because Melanie is finally by my side now. She's the best girlfriend in the world.